Hi, I'm Jay Goldman, and welcome back to the BlackBerry Tips and Tricks series. Today we're going to take a look at using email on your BlackBerry device, in this case on a BlackBerry Storm. The first thing you'll want to do if you haven't already done it is configure your email account. You can access that inside of the setup application, which you'll find on the main screen of applications towards the bottom. Inside of the setup folder, there's an email settings program, which will actually load a web page from RIM servers where you can configure email addresses. You're going to need all of the information from your email provider, including your POP or IMAP server and your SMTP login information. If you've previously configured an email address on your BlackBerry, you can log in using the login form at the bottom, and if this is your first time through the process, you can create a new account at the top. I'm going to close this because email has already been configured on this BlackBerry, as you can tell from the 241 unread messages at the top. Escaping out of the setup folder back to the main screen and scrolling up shows us the messages application, which gives us access to all of the messages on this device. In this case, we have a number of missed calls, as well as some email, addresses at the email messages at the bottom. Tapping on an email message will open it. And I can compose a new email message either by tapping on the new email button or by opening the BlackBerry menu and choosing Compose Email. You'll see that I can also compose pins, which is a BlackBerry to BlackBerry message, SMS text to any mobile phone, or MMS to any phone that supports a multimedia short message service. I can also do instant messages from here to friends who are using instant message services. New emails can also be composed directly from the address book. So if you go into your contacts and had any listed here, you would be able to contact them directly from this list. That's the basics of using email on your BlackBerry. Thanks for watching the BlackBerry Tips and Tricks series. Stay tuned for more.